Hi, I'm fine. Hi. Um, let me see. I am experiencing um, what I'm calling repetitive movement um, strain in my left upper arm, probably around my bicep, um, up to my shoulder, down to my elbow. And I'm just wondering, I know you've given a few different um, things you could do for different people um, today, but I'm just wondering which, what would be- So is it, is it bothering you like kind of like- a, Yeah, a yeah. Yeah, you, me, yeah, 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 yeah probably it's, tendonitis is actually probably what that is. I'm, and so, um, you know, the, the problem is actually down like right above the crease of the arm. Like if you look, like mm -hmm. here's the crease and yeah. you go up a little bit higher and you poke around there, you feel yeah. like it's kind of tender or sore. It's tender and sore yeah. all the way up. So that is causing the tendonitis up here. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, uh, it, it, boy, it, that can be a booger. Like that could be a real booger. Um, are you doing a lot of like uh, stuff on it with a mouse and things? I hate to tell you what I'm doing. I'm knitting. And oh, yeah, it, that, I, that could be a little bit aggravating. But I mean, it's... Um, from time to time, just take a stop and just stretch the arm out um, when, when you're knitting. I don't think you need to stop, um, but um, I, I would use, I, I would probably use like some, some forms of like, um, like pepper. Let me put something up here real quick. I also jokingly say it's part of um, holding up the oils during the poison. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, I really, I, I start to support yeah. my elbow because it's holding them up, but it's on, only on that side. So it's the inhalation strain. Okay, so um, let's have you use um, some form of like pepper or basil or uh, palo santo. Do you have any of those? Yeah, I have, uh, I think I have all three. I have pink pepper and pepper supreme. Let's have you use the pepper supreme and you could actually even like put it on like meat, like put like several drops in there and then just really rub it in that area. Uh -huh. And then, okay. you know, eventually put a little bit more on and then rub it more up towards the, the area. Mm -hmm. The spot up here, um, helichrysum can go a long way, you know, just even a few drops in a neat application and rub it on the sore spot. Mm -hmm. That's always good for um, uh, tendonitis. Um, you know, sometimes like in really extreme situations, like I would say this doesn't need to be addressed like right off the bat, but if it's an extreme situation, um, I would continue with, with that, you know, you can rotate between the pepper and like the basil and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, one of the things that I like to do sometimes with um, tendons is when there's a tendon issue is um, schizandra internally. And it, it helps to um, release the fascia of the, the tendon itself. You know, sometimes that tissue is so like dense and doesn't have the greatest blood supply. Mm -hmm. And when you wanna, when you wanna release fascia to, of, a, of an area, the way that you release it is by, by hydrating the fascia, you know, by hydrating the soft tissue. And, um, sometimes in some of these situations, they get so dense that you really can't get the proper blood in the area. And Shazendra helps to moisten like mucous membranes, but it helps to moisten like fascia. And so, or it helps to hydrate the fascia. Like it helps the body convert and utilize water. Because sometimes you could be taking water in, but your body isn't using it. It's dumping some of it into the tissue. And just because it's in the tissue doesn't mean that it's hydrating that tissue. Mm. And so Shazandra helps, helps with that process. So let's first just treat it very simply as like, um, you know, probably a little bit of trigger point activity that's caused some tendonitis. Mm -hmm. You know, treat that spot and then a little bit up high. And then if it's slow to... Um, if it's slow to heal or if it's not really responding super well, keep doing the same regimen, but then add Shazandra to the mix. Yeah. Okay. And that just do that neat as well. Yeah. 
Um, no, that actually a good point. Uh, like two, three, even four drops um, uh, at, uh, at night um, internally. And actually going back to Deborah, um, if you're not responding to some of the things we talked about for your sleep, let's have you even try Shazandra at night, right before you go to bed. Um, but do the other things first. And then if you're still not sleeping well, do that. And so coming back to, to you with your thing, um, the Shazandra would help the tendonitis, but um, it would also in, in, in improve uh, sleep quality. You know, so you could take it during the day, but if you take it at night, um, you'll get a lot more bang for your buck. Like it will help the tendon and help you just like conk out. I can use that too. Yeah, who can't? <laughs> like, you yeah. know, I still I sleep good sometimes. And I still take it just to make me sleep deeper and longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you very much. If it, if it doesn't respond like within the next week, bring it to my attention. Okay. Like it, it should start to change almost within a treatment or two. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. Okay. You're so welcome.